Great, good enough, right? Let's assume that these mini AI agents can do a better job. But the whole idea of autonomous, self-aware AI agents is easy to see, but why do people think it's gonna go all Skynet because it's smart and does everything? Why does it need us? More importantly, how can we work with it if it doesn't do what we want? In the current way of top-down traditional software, they, these agents couldn't be controlled because they're telling us what to do. They're putting AI in charge. Yet by starting with many AI agents, our output, the files we create, spreadsheets, meetings, code, legal briefs, these are all the things we create. If we wrap intelligence around that, it doesn't have the power we do. The fail saves built in are rules and all these tiny large language models, TLMs, simply manage their own tasks and nothing else and probably do it better than us. Still with AI agents, even with these mini AI agents, how do you make sure it does what you want it to do? What fail safes exist if an object decides like not to share critical information or in another form, what if it notifies, let's say the person who has this cancer, but it hasn't been validated by the doctor. Does that make sense? What sort of fail safes work with the decision-making process of the object? Okay, so initially they're limited in terms of what they can do with availability of algorithms to them. Like one algorithm says, feed yourself to this engine and read the report. And if it's uh, this condition, then execute the other algorithm. So, and the other algorithm would be drop yourself to the inbox and follow up with the uh, coordination of an appointment. So the behavior of these, uh, uh, of these objects, it's an intelligent behavior, but it's completely guardrailed by the developers and the creators of the system. Now, on top of it, you have this hierarchical relationship, just like our bodies, uh, where you know, our brain is controlling the overall systemic stuff but the information or the de detailed processing of, of what happens to a particular liver cell is really completely autonomous to the liver, to the liver cell itself. And it is coordinated by a super object, which is liver. Your liver cell cannot all of a sudden send a signal to your toe uh, to, to generate pain. It's completely constrained within the liver and all of the functions that it can perform are a set of algorithms that is constrained by the designer of your body 